Hello and welcome to TTV News, ladies and gentlemen. In the afternoon of September 21st, 2023, the People's Committee of Tenant Province have a regular meeting in September to give comments on the proposals for investment policies and investor proposals for a number of projects in the province and other important contents. The People's Committee of Tenant Province has commented and agreed with the submission of the Department of Planning and Investment of Tenant on approving investment policies and approving investors to implement the projects in the field of agriculture in the province, approving the adjustment of investment policies for Tan Hao Quarter Commercial House Project in Goyotau, Goyo District. For the submission of the Department of Natural Resources and Environment of Tenant on approval of the ocean plan for the right to use modern 239,000 square meters of land to implement the project of producing crops and varieties applying high technology, not animal husbandry in Fugnan Kamil Yumjou district. After listening to the leaders of the departments and members of the Provincial Appeals Committee, the Provincial Appeals Committee proposed to leave it for consideration and clarification of some related issues. The Provincial Appeals Committee also commented on a proposal of formulate a resolution and amend and supplement a number of articles of Resolution No. 21, dated December 6, 2019, of the Provincial Appeals Council, stipulating the level of expenditure for the training and fostering of officials and civil servants in the province, proposing to develop a resolution to replace Resolution No. 12, dated July 13, 2018, of the Provincial Appeals Council, stipulating the decentralization of decision-making competence in the management and use of public access in the province, providing comments on the submission of tenant policy to the proposals to amend and supplement the contents of the draft resolution, stipulating the level of support for the civil defense forces in tenant province. Also at the regular meeting in September 9, after collecting opinions of the departments and sectors submitted by the Provincial People's Committee, a review the contents of the departments of planning and investment for approving the investment policies and the investor to implement the chicken farm projects under the model of the closed coal farm in Tân Lam Hamlet, Tân Hà Khamir, Tân Châu District. The Provincial Appeals Committee approved the investment policy and at the same time approved the investor as a Southwest High Tech Agriculture Company Limited. The chicken farm project under the model of a closed corn farm invested by the Southwest High Tech Agriculture Company Limited has a capacity of 350,000 has per liter, 5 liters per year, providing broilers. The land area used for construction of the project is over 67,000 square meters in Tân Lam Hamlet, Tân Hà Khamil, Tân Châu District. Investment capital is 60 billion Việt Nam Dung. Construction is expected to start by March 2024. South as High Tech Agriculture Company Limited has a memorandum of understanding with the Hertz Limited Liability Company on the implementation of chain linkage. The unit signed a cooperation agreement and a memorandum of understanding with the People's Committee of Tenant Province at the Forum to Connect Investment Enterprises and Develop High-Tech Agricultural Ecosystem in Tenant Province in 2023. The investment in chicken farming projects under the model of closed corn farms is in accordance with the land use planning and development orientation of high-tech agriculture of the province. As being approved by the Provincial Appeals Committee, the investors shall coordinate with provincial departments and sectors to fully implement the procedures in accordance with regulations. In order to update new knowledge, scientific and technical achievements in patient treatment and care, on September 21st, the Nen General Hospital organized the 22nd Annual Scientific and Technical Conference in 2023. Attending the conference, there were Mr. Trung Văn Hùng, Director of the Department of Health and leading medical expert from Central Hospital and Medical Units in the province, leading the health sector through the ages, especially the leaders and doctors from the Cambodia-China Friendship Hospital in Tabung Khmer Province, Kingdom of Cambodia. The conference gathered many reporters from Jerry Hospital, Pius Hospital, Triple One Fry, University Hospital of Medicine and Pharmacy Ho Chi Minh City. Gunter University of Medicine and Pharmacy and Hospital in the province with scientific reports with diverse topics, new updates with orientation and high practical applications such as 
statutory for using anti-blood blood aggregation for HCS patients from initiation to maintenance, benign prostate proliferation treatments, up-to-date treatment of sepsis and septic shock, etc. After each report, the speakers received many questions and hectic discussions. In addition, the conference also introduced new technology, medical products, medical equipment and supplies, pharmaceuticals, healthcare products for medical examination and treatments for patients at hospital. On September 21st, the military government brought up the Vietnam Fatherland Branch Committee, the head unit of the cluster, coordinated with the military government of agencies and units of emulation cluster number no. 5 to organize extreme activities of culture as physical training and sports. In the opening speech, Ms. Dang Minh Lui, permanent vice chair woman, commander of military government of the Vietnam Fatherland Red Committee, hoped that at this contest, each collective and individual participated with the spirit of Eastern learning, at least upheld the spirit of cultural solidarity so that the Eastern program took place in an enthusiastic and exciting atmosphere, leaving many beautiful impressions in the hearts of each team and participants. The program was exciting with repast, badminton competition, karaoke contest, and cooking contest. Draw activities, it is an opportunity to exchange experiences between agencies and units in the cluster, creating solidarity, achievement, improving the spiritual life and health of carriers and self-defense soldiers, determined to successfully perform the tasks of defense and security work, in particular and professional tasks of agencies and units in 2023. In the morning of September 21st, at the Department of Science and Technology, seven authors and groups of artists with seven projects entered the final round of the Innovation Startup Contest in 2022-2023. Representing seven authors, the author group presented the specific content of their projects to the jury within 10 minutes, then answered the jury's questions to clarify more about the project. The final round included projects on aquaculture breeding, production of organic microbial fertilizers, natural incense, cooking oil recycling, building ethnic music clubs for tenant tourism. According to a brief assessment from the jury, the topics in the final round are feasible and highly applicable. Some topics are also capable of reaching the international level, some meet the needs of society concerns, and some can be built into an ecotourism chain, contributing to the development of the tourism in the future. On September 21st, the Nam Provincial Youth Union organized the traditional seminar program Stories from Uncle Ho and Uncle Chong's Letters to the children of Hoang Leka School, Tenen, and all children in the South. At the end of 1964, the students of Hoang Leka School sent their love and loving pictures to Uncle Ho and Uncle Chong. In response to the affection of the children of the South, on September 25, 1965, Uncle Ho and Uncle Chong also sent a letter to the children of Hoang Leka School and all children in the South raising their achievements in the resistance war against the U.S. and save the country. At the talk show, union members, students and team members listened to former leaders of the Lyson Board and former students of Hualika Boarding School, students in the South of Tenen Province, historical witnesses sharing about the origin, meaning and value of Uncle Ho and Uncle John's letters to the children of Hualika School and on the students. Speaking at the talk show, Mr. Nguyen Thân Tông, member of the Central Committee of the Youth Union, member of the Provincial Party Committee, Secretary of the Provincial Youth Union, said that the teachings, reminders, and encouragement in that year's letter of Uncle Ho and Uncle Tone have strengthened the spirit to overcome our difficulties and hardships, strive to study and practice. Teachers and students of Hong Lek High School have grown up and made important contributions to the cause of building and defending the beloved fatherland. It is nice to this young generation about the will, energy and spirit of patriotism and love for the homeland in its story. Ladies and gentlemen, after 50 years of italicizing diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Japan, September 21st, 1973, September 21st, 2023, 
the two sides have achieved many achievements in developing an essential strategic partnership in general, including tourism in particular. After a difficult period due to the pandemic, the tourism industry of the two countries is currently accelerating the recovery speed and achieving many positive results to continue to develop to attract two-way visitors. According to the records at some tourist destinations in Hanoi, the number of Japanese visitors is on the path of good recovery. Favorite destinations of Japanese visitors are cultural tourist attractions and relics with a rich history. I'm attracted by the music here, so I come in. I found Hanoi autumn very beautiful and making mooncakes with children here is also a very fun experience for me. After the COVID-19 pandemic, Japanese tourists to our country are always in the top five markets to Vietnam, especially from August 15, with the visa exemption policy when traveling to Vietnam, Japanese, Japanese tourists can also extend their stay in Vietnam to 45 days. Currently, our promotion targets localities with large sources of visitors. This trend market between the two countries is taking place very smoothly. They are very attractive places besides trade ones. Slowly from the end of 2023 and 2024, it will continue to grow well. Currently, Vietnam is also Japan's most important tourist market in Southeast Asia. Vietnamese visitors to Japan continuously achieve a record increase after Japan fully opened up and lifted regulations after the COVID-19 epidemic. The Japan Tourism Promotion Agency in Vietnam has been implementing many promotion plans to attract tourists. From January to July this year, about 350,000 Vietnamese people came to Japan, and compared to 2019, which is the year of extremely developed tourism, it has exceeded 120 percent. Compared to other markets in the world, this is the first to second growth rate, which is very high. Strengthening the promotion of two-way tourism stimulus, the two country tourism units expect that tourism is one of the bridges to further tighten diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Japan. The audience asked the convent to review the organizations of the high school graduation exam in 2023 have on September 20. The Ministry of the Education and Training affirmed that the high school exam in 2024 will remain stable as the previous years. The exam will have many changes in 2025 to properly assess learners' learning outcomes according to the goal of the 2018 high school programs. According to the report of the Steering Committee of the High School Graduation Exam in 2023, these same questions closely follow the standards of knowledge and skills with appropriate differentiation. These same results objectively reflect the learning results of candidates and the quality of teaching in localities by region. The National High School Graduation Rate is 98.88%. It shows that these same stable and rapidly improvements have been made for the better. However, there are also inadequacies such as in the process of examination, some candidates deliberately violate the same regulations. Some teachers have not followed the correct and sufficient procedures when examining. Candidates who use phones and technology during this time need to continue to thoroughly understand and pay more attention so that in the process of organizing the review, always repair them in the best position to enter this time, avoiding cheating in this time. About the high school graduation exam in 2024, it is the final exam according to the own general education program, so the Ministry of Education and Training agreed to keep the contents of the exam stable, not causing disturbance for candidates. Along with that, the Ministry will also focus on researching and repairing based for the renewal of the high school graduation exam from 2025. Currently, the exam plan from 2025 is expected to include include 11 subjects, including elective subjects. On the basis of career orientation for candidates and promoting their thought abilities for learners, all subjects assigned by score are included in this same, and the ministry is repairing test bank data and best options for candidates.
tốt nhất cho thí sinh. Regarding the method of exam organization and implementation roadmap, the period of 2025-2030 will keep the paper-based exam method stable while enhancing the effective application of information technology, gradually piloting computer-based exams for multiple-choice exams in eligible localities. That's all for today's TV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.